Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the HANA EVTOL aircraft completes first full-scale test flight, PAL-V set to unveil production model Liberty, and FAA working to implement comprehensive testing solution. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's February 7th and this is Airborne Unlimited. Vahana, the all-electric self-piloted VTOL aircraft from Airbus, has announced the successful completion of its first full-scale flight test, reaching a height of 16 feet before descending safely. The test was completed at 8.52 a.m. Pacific on January 31, 2018 at the Pendleton UAS range in Pendleton, Oregon. Its first flight with a duration of 53 seconds was fully self-piloted, and the vehicle completed a second flight the following day. Vahana is a project developed at the Silicon Valley outpost of Airbus. Vahana aims to democratize personal flight and answer the growing need for urban mobility by leveraging the latest technologies in electric propulsion, energy storage, and machine vision. Vahana leverages its self-piloted capabilities to operate without a passenger. Following these successful hover flights, the team will turn to additional testing, including transitions and forward flight. After the break, FAA IG to audit airline service to smaller communities. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. And with so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA Inspector General has initiated an audit of airline service to small and medium-sized communities. In announcing the audit, the IG said that the U.S. airline industry underwent significant changes throughout the last decade. Since 2014, the airline industry has become more profitable with the economic expansion and low jet fuel prices. Congressional concerns persist regarding the availability of airline service to smaller communities. A unicycle belonging to a professional acrobat was stolen from the baggage claim area at KSFO last month. The cycle belongs to Rong Niu, a frequent performer at NBA halftime shows as the Red Panda Acrobat. News agent said that she had traveled to San Francisco on January 24th. When she went to baggage claim to collect her checked luggage, which included the unicycle, she saw a man with a red ponytail grab it off the conveyor and wheel it away. The United States Patent and Trademark Office has issued a notice of allowance for the Horsefly Truck Launch Drone Package Delivery System patent application. The Horsefly system adheres to all current FAA safety regulations for drone package delivery, as each package is delivered within the delivery driver's line of sight. The Horsefly UAV delivery system is a custom-built, high-efficiency delivery UAV that is fully integrated with the workhorse line of electric hybrid delivery trucks. GKN Aerospace's Fokker Services business announces that a total of 39 Fokker aircraft were placed in 2017, compared with 40 transactions in 2016. Currently, approximately 400 Fokker aircraft are operational worldwide. 
Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Pal-V will unveil their Pal-V Liberty flying car at the Geneva Motor Show next month. The company calls the event not only a decisive milestone for Pal-V, but also a historic breakthrough in the evolution of flying cars. In past years, Pal-V concentrated all efforts on perfecting its design and setting up the production process and the supply chain. The production model is the moment of truth, the moment where the wall between fiction and facts is torn down. Digimon said, a production model is the last stage in the R&D process before starting full production and delivery. All certifications required for commercialization will be granted on the basis of this production model. It is the pivotal point that separates pioneers from dreamers. After these messages, FAA working to implement comprehensive testing solution. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. The FAA is in the process of procuring a comprehensive testing solution, referred to as the Airman Certificate Testing Service which is a best practices approach aimed at enhancing the overall quality of FAA airman knowledge testing. The current FAA systems that support the test development process are nearing the end of their useful life and must be replaced. New technology, additional resources, and industry expertise are being pursued to provide the capability for the FAA to implement much needed changes to the airman knowledge testing process. This new direction will bring about many changes to the way FAA Airman Knowledge Tests are developed and administered to the aviation community once the contract is awarded. The agency has established a web page to keep the pilot community apprised of its progress regarding the ACTS implementation. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.